Thank you very much, Mr. Toastmaster, and welcome fellow Toastmasters. Thank you, Fru Har, for your amazing icebreaker, very well prepared. Again, who is surprised that he only um, prepared for one hour? <laughs> it went pretty impressive. I want to go through with the icebreaker, the purpose of the icebreaker, as you know, is to your first time on stage when you don't know necessarily too much about Toastmasters and how it works, but you're showing your natural existing skills at public speaking that you may have just picked up on your own, and this is things that your skills that you already naturally have. And when you progress in Toastmasters, you'll continue with refining those natural abilities that you have and even developing even further. What I want to say is, Fruhar already has a really, really good set of skills that he's already brought to, to the table. And I, 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 want to, I want to go through a bunch of the points I noticed which are really, really good. And a few suggestions for improvement as well. In terms of gestures, did you notice that Fruhar had a good eye contact with the audience? He, I found him looking around the room, connecting with people individually. The one suggestion is when there's a slide, and um, you're reading the slide, maybe just have a look over the slide and then start talking back to the audience. Try not to like talk when your face is turned away from the audience because that audience feels like a little bit left out in that situation. But I also noticed that Fruhar's hand gestures seemed really natural. He had good variation and expressiveness in hand gestures. Um, one suggestion which it didn't vex me, but maybe it's something you know, is that he was doing the pointing to emphasize a point, and some people may find that a little bit aggressive, I guess, in some cases. So to use the open hands um, may be more appropriate in certain situations. But I'm very, very good for that. And I found that Fruhar was very comfortable on stage. He didn't seem nervous, which is great, because even though he might have been a nervous inside, he projected a calm demeanor. With regards to language, do you notice Fru Fruhar used very good language? He used the word of the day a few times, which seemed to be an improv that he just sort of added in there. He also used descriptive language such as the term I like in particular, uh, political suffocation, which I thought was a very uh, nice use of language. And he also used very few filler words. I didn't hear very many ums or ahs, so very, very good job already, already doing that. In terms of organization, I found this speech had a very good structure to it based on the chronology, the chronology of his life. And the visual, visual aids definitely helped as well organize the speech. The um, speech had good, good use of pauses as well, and a very definite opening body and conclusion. One suggestion is the conclusion seemed a bit abrupt. I know. So, yes, yes, you know, so too. So, I would suggest think about maybe having a little bit, a couple sentences for a conclusion at least to have a nice closing thought as well. With regards to uh, Fu Har's voice, I found Fu's voice was very calm and very relaxed and very clear. I could understand everything. And unlike me, who I talk really fast, I want to cram all the information, he was more paced than I am. He's very well, um, had a good sense of time and made use of the time, but still managed to keep speak at a very normal and, and comfortable rate. One suggestion is with that, um, for a large room, you may want to think about projecting your voice even more to make sure everyone in the back can hear you. But in this situation, it was perfectly fine. With finally, for enthusiasm, I really liked how at the end there, Fuhar smiled and he even did do some humor about the chicken and uh, good improvisation there as well. So that was really great. So in general comments, I want to say thank you very much for giving your first icebreaker. It's a big accomplishment to do that. And uh, already I find that you have a very comfortable and very professional already style of speaking. So yeah, if you join, keep, keep coming back to Toastmasters. You can even work on any little individual aspects of it that will bring it to the next level. So wonderful job. Thank, thank you. you.